And welcome everybody. This is Nun Defense and this is our task force, still unboomable. Um, so this is the third video of the series. One of our, <clears throat> excuse me, one of our um, other members of the team wanted to me to go over the, the last operation. <coughs> excuse me. So I kind of scouted it over and just glanced at some various things to, you know, kind of see what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think there's a th few things worth looking at. Uh, remember this if you're watching this and you are not on our task force this channel was set up specifically to uh, for me to kind of not only just communicate with our task force but just I can actually point things out and say this is how I feel about certain things and uh, give you a little perspective on how I think think about things if you want to stick around stick around because I'm gonna try to share a lot of good information um, remember I come from a perspective of I run uh, 20 active accounts and um, you know and I play a lot of different ways so whoever you are watching this uh, I'm gonna try to have good information for you okay this sp specifically was a fun op and what I mean by that is we have beaten sour grapes we have bested it it has bested us as well but we've bested it too so whatever uh, I believe the score is one to yeah, we've won we've beaten it once we've lost twice so, uh, we, you know, we'll, we'll definitely have to go back in. But we beat it, so we decided to celebrate by doing a fun operation. We decided to do upper lip, and the, the, the funny gag was like, hey, let's just everybody go in either Zookas or Riflemen or a mix of the two, whatever, and just kind of see how it works out. So uh, let's go ahead and just glance at that. As I see things, I'm just going to kind of comment on them. Um, you know, I'm not going to call anybody out and to be mean. Just uh, if I see something that I'd have done different, I'm going to say it. This is my opportunity to do that. Hmm. Okay, that was a situation coming off the boat where I would have to tell Bronson good effort. Now, he knows what I mean by that. Uh, anytime you run an all, all, all Zooka raid, you it's, it packs such a powerful punch, but it always stands a risk of just something going wrong and then all of a sudden boom you're out of zookas and it can happen in, in just a, in a hot minute as they say in the south all right so good little run there bronson he took took out some boom cannons there uh let's see we're gonna all right bronson too now nah, it's just one of his extra account maddie b did not want to play the rifle zooka game that's fine you're not required to play the game as long as you attack well let's see what he did okay Rid of the shocker, taking care of the booms. Mmm, that flare. That flare right there. Maddie B. Let's talk about that flare. The one where you flare to right here, that's the flare that I hate. This is where that's a situation where overflare is perfect. Flare back here to where your craft are. Let everybody walk down here, and then on the reapproach. Your zookas will be safe. You see how they were all standing there in that group and you were losing zookas unnecessarily? You could have won this thing. That would have been a victory. And because of poor flaring, you lost. I'm say I'm just saying you're a great player. If you attack player bases with that flare, and I've seen you use that flare before, so I have to assume that you do, I guarantee you will go up in victory points by a hundred over like a week if you just start over flaring that is the critical tool that is what makes hookah work uh so but good job all in all dirto he also didn't play but he ran a hookah he just joined the team i don't know anything about him let's see what he did okay uh dirto that situation i'm totally just gonna flare the boom cannons right away and then go get the power cells there's no reason for you to get those power cells when there's still boom cannons that you need to deal with priorities brother but all in all good attack yeah and I, I you know you can pretty much tell where that was going uh let's see so that was dirto da, da, da. sika sika's been with us a while funny story about sika a, a former player used to think he was a dude or a woman but he's actually a dude and uh yeah well that he started hitting on sika in chat and it was really funny Let's see, I'm not going to call any names, but I guarantee Angie's laughing right now if she was watching this video. Alright, so this is Sika. You know, that's pretty slick. I like, one of the things I always like about Sika is Sika always kind of looks at things from a slightly different angle, a slightly different perspective. Often runs a lot of really unexpected but very solid attacks. 
and that's what I like about how Sika runs. Sika's one of the people, just for whatever reason, I rarely have to say anything negative. If he does wrong, he knows it. Alright, so this is Silence. Silence is one of mine, so I'm just going to fast forward. Uh, again, we're just dropping riflemen. All I'm doing here on this base is just clearing, starting the process. It, it went in empty. I missed shot that. I could have shot better there, but I almost got rid of a, zoo, a uh, rocket, so not terrible. I've certainly seen worse, done worse, way worse. Hey, besides me, does anybody remember the first time I ever went all Zookas? It was terrible. I still wake up screaming. Uh, sharpshooter. So he was playing the game. He was having fun. So let's see how he did. Alrighty. Sharpshooter. He wants to go to the back. Alright, I see what he wants to do. He He's from previous bases. He knows that those uh, shield generators can really slow things down. So I guess his plan is to try to clear a path there. Uh, I, my nickname for him is Money in the Bank. Funny thing about him, uh, he's a hunter, a deer hunter and other hunter, and I often imagine him sitting in a tree somewhere waiting for some unsuspecting prey playing Boom Beach, and which is great. Uh, ooh, Boom Boom participated. Let's check out Boom Boom. Boom Boom, uh, your attacking in general is pretty solid. Uh, there's been some operations. I didn't quite understand what you were trying to do, uh, but... All on this, on this is just a fun base. So I really have nothing crazy to say. I happened to be watching this one live when you were actually doing it. Uh, I totally would have flared the shocker there. You know, I mean, you're back there with them. Screw it, fight them. You know, go ahead and take care of them. So not a great run, kind of a pointless run, but again, it was a fun run. So glad you have fun. So that was Boom Boom. Uh, Bone, he played the game. Good job, Bone. Love to see you participate. Okay. He's going all Zookas. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so he's just going to just lay the rain and just let them, let them girls go. Uh, looks like he's probably just going to time out. Uh, those shield generators are, uh, they're terrible. Lost a lot of Zookas there, but you expect that. So, all right, we get what happens. We've seen that story. Bone, that was Bone. Uh, Chill Monster, did not play the game, and you're not required to play the game as long as you attack well. What did we do, Chill? Before I see anything else, if he didn't win, I'm disappointed. Let's see how this goes down. Okay, so we got the uh, the mortar on them. Remember, these maxed out mortars, guys. All you tanks think your tanks are Superman. These maxed out mortars will hurt you. They will harm you. All right. Well, I'm not sure of the point of the shock. I'm not sure of the point of the flare. I mean, if you're gonna flare, why not do that earlier? But I mean, all in all, good run. You know, not a bad run. Yeah, my opinion there, uh, honestly, uh, who was that, Chill Monster, if you're watching this, uh, you know, this is an alright run, just there was no reason for you to, to drop that smoke, it was kind of odd, but whatever. Uh, Willow, all riflemen, that's one of mine. I got a stopwatch going over here. I learned the hard way, videos can't be over 15 minutes. Oops. So drop in there, just trying to deal some damage, spread things around. And we're just having having fun. Now I have to remember to go back on all these accounts and swap them to their assigned troops. I do mm -hmm. assign specific troops for everybody. Um, all right, I'm going to skip over any more of my attacks. They're just you know it's the same stuff. Uh, Wolf, he did not want to play. He wanted to go all tank. He used to be a mixed troop, and thank God he has dedicated himself to something. He has decided to be a tanker. And uh, it's a hell of a good choice. As he gets more and more familiar with it, he will become even better of a player. And he was a solid player with his troop gumbo. I still don't know how he even made that work in real time, but he did. He was, a, he was a strong player. All right, good job. So I'm just getting, you know, when it's kind of going on, we're just skipping along. I got the, uh, we're 923 according to my stopwatch. I gotta start making, wrapping up around 13 minutes, I suppose. Who was that? That was Wolf. <laughs> this is 
my love, my wife, my beautiful, my everything, the boom bite yourself, and that is bite. It's clearly two eyes there. Let's uh, we gotta speed it up. But let's see what she did. Man, her artillery and stuff is just powerful. She never runs riflemen, so anything she does here is already successful. She's gotten rid of a rocket, so technically that's a that's a good run. Okay, not bad. Going back here, getting things. Okay, I know I bet I know what she's gonna do. Yep, she's gonna start working that shocker. Come on, Angie, I'm rooting for you. Come on, get that shocker. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? I get it. Get it. Get it. Ah, uh, if she's flaring there, then she's got nothing left. Ah. Ah. Still, great run, though. That thing is just like, you could breathe on that thing, and it's dead. Okay, that was Angie, so I'm skipping on mine. Guinness, uh, love the fact that you use Grenadiers. It's good to have them on the team, absolutely. You have odd timing on when you drop Grenadiers sometimes. When it, when it works great, it works brilliantly, and I appreciate you that. But when it works bad, it works bad quickly. Um, I would ask that you just, if you don't have 100% confidence, then man don't even go in like just wait until we do some see if we can do it without you you know go in when needed if you see the perfect run do it but if it's not perfect man it's going to be terrible because that's what you get with grenadiers it either works great or it's a disaster okay so we're going to speed that along boom 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 oh and that flare you did when you dropped here you kind of went over here i get it but i'm still i'm Aiming at these corners. These corners will keep you alive. Okay, good little run. Just note that the higher levels when we're playing, the maxed out mortars will one-shot your grenadiers, and there is not a darn thing you can do about it. Just get over it. It's going to happen. So, you know, that's a danger. And often, like, two rockets. I know you can handle two rockets with grenadiers on player basis. Operations, you cannot. One rocket is all you can handle. Just your medics cannot keep up with two rockets with grenadiers. They just can't do it. I know you want them to do it. They can't do it. Uh, so that was Guinness. I'm getting really close here on time. Um, all right, Stort. Stort has been with us for a while. He's awesome. He's tough. He ain't going to take no mess off nobody. He's going to just drop some, I bet he's going, yep, he's going to just drop over there. Don't even worry about that, man. You, that was a good run. Technically, you could have not even bombed the Doom Cannon, and because you're going rifle, you would have been fine, but either way, boom, great job. And his lovely wife, that is Mrs. Fierce Holly, I call her Mrs. Stort. Uh, I've never actually seen a photo of the woman, but she is absolutely beautiful, and I love having her on the team. She has come a long way. Holly, I hope you watch this video and know that you, know, you used to be pretty bad, but you have, you used to be bad, but now you're really good. Like, now you get it. Um, we're getting close. I'm looking at the clock. Hex, Zookas. All right, Hex, I'm glad you played along. A lot of people actually participated. So, and the people who did, and I'm not calling you out. I'm not saying you did wrong. I'm just acknowledging that you didn't participate, and that's okay. You know, I really don't care. It was a, uh, you know, the people who want to have fun and do silly things can do silly things. The ones who don't want, whatever. Okay, so good job. Hex, you did that. Buddy, I'm going to skip Big Bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch you. You went all tanks just to give you at least a shout out. See how you did. Um, What's going on here? I'm not sure what your plan is as I'm watching this. It doesn't make sense. All right, next time, go ahead and just flare that Doom Cannon. Hey, I need to cut this video short so I don't get cut off, but thank you so much for watching, and just remember we are still unboomable. Be safe.